shit show. A nearly abandoned parking lot off the highway, 39 degrees, 20 mile an hour winds, boat hooked up, waiting on Lunkers TV. That's how we're starting off today's episode, y'all. It has gotten chilly. Today is going to be a doozy. It's always a good one when me and Lunkers go out, an adventure anyway, and it's brought to you by Mystery Tackle Box. Mystery's been a big part of this channel for a long time, y'all. Normally I do a box review every month, and I did not do one last month. Just being caught up with, uh, with babies and also flooded lakes made it very difficult to, to do a box review. So I'm gonna go over the October box with you guys. These MTB boxes keep getting better and better, y'all. They've really got some tasty selections in there. They keep inquiring from a bunch of different fishermen. What, what's it like in your region? What do you like to see? And they're working with more and more companies. So if you guys want to get started, get some of these new lures. What I find is that they help me fish lures that I may not even fish, and then I end up finding out new patterns or new ways to catch fish. Or if you just wanna learn about bass fishing, just getting started, uh, or you just want good deals on baits, there's a link down in the description. You can check them out and actually receive $10 off your first box. Get them rolling in, get to casting, get to catching, get to sniffing, baby. And that's what we have got to do now. Lunkers is gonna be here any minute, I think. I think he was up late last night playing poker. I'm not sure if we're gonna get the full story, but he was definitely out doing something last night. This is how it goes with me and Lunkers, this kind of stuff. If it's not flooding, it's trains, right? What? What are we doing wrong? <laughs> Why would they, why'd they stop it here and not like 20 or 30 foot to the right? They just stopped it right over the road. Like, hey, yeah, we see you have a bass boat. You're probably wanting to go fishing. <laughs> Let's stop it right here. Oh my gosh. You got already, right? Yeah, I already had one. Okay. Oh. Yep. Yep. That was up there shallow. Oh yeah, he's... Oh, he came off. Got in the tree. That was like immediate. Put one of these little football jigs on here. Feeling lucky. I got the poker man with me. Let's see if we can find a, a dangler for the end of this thing. Dig it down there. It's just been on them trees. Cass, it's either going to get hung up in trees. Or it's going to be a five pounder. Or it's going to be a five pounder. Keep oh yeah, I saw that. It. Yeah, get him, get him, get him. No, he's not on. Oh, he seriously? Bumped, yeah, he bumped it. He dropped it? Got him. Fish yep. on. Fish, Fish on. on. First one up shallow. Fish on. How, really shallow? He was pretty shallow, but he's small, so. so. There you go. Oh, he threw one of my things. That's a little butter bean right there. That's a butter bean. Love you, baby. And Rob's hooked up. Did it really? I'm talking. Hit it on the move? Huh? He hit it yeah, on the I was move? I'm just kind of moving it quick. Ah. It's just a little bit of beta. Woo doo 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 Turd burglar, if I've ever seen it. Oh me. gosh. They're just not hanging on to it that well for some reason. He's a, he's a pretty fish though. I enjoy catching him. Oh, Hang on. Could get a little, could get a little dicey. Well, we mounted up and we've moved down the lake trying a little square bill action. One of these little KVD 1.5s came in the box and I'm uh, throwing at these old, look like cedars, 40 feet right here. So just hoping for a suspender and then we're gonna do some flipping back in here. It's very windy, so everyone's aware if this thing gets stuck, it's gone. Definitely nicking some limbs with this Oh boy, I almost hit a nest, that would have been over. I might be able to, oh, I got one. Good one? Oh boy, come here now. Got him on a square billy, square billy, don't come on now, baby. Little butter bean, barely got it. Oh, little butter bean. Oh, wow. Whacked. 
Did Might you have. see that? I did. Nice fatty fish on the old square bill. Damn, I just got whacked pretty good right there. Could be a little something. This little transition bank, 13 foot right here. Seems like it's blowing right in here now. Yeah, we're dealing with some shifting wind. I'm gonna make myself a little switcheroo here. Looks like a good time for jerk baits. I'm gonna slap this little Ima baby on here. A little Ima jerk bait. I'm a little jerk bait, short and stout. Here's my face, eat it now. Like that, little nursery rhyme. Jerk baits, historic, historically difficult to throw in the wind, but um, they are good when fish are eating these shad and when they suspend in trees, which it seems like they are. Some have been on the bottom, some are suspended. Just had one on that square bill, so. This is a very, very good fall through winter option. Okay, I'm a, I'm a catch fish. Pretty juicy. I'm trying to. I mean, that fish was actually. He was more or less in the middle right here. He wasn't even close to the top. Oh, got one. You got one. I got one on the jerk bait, dude. You got one on the jerk yeah. Bait? Good one. Slammed it. I don't think it's big one, but. Yeah. Hey. hey. He was the last one. This was right here too. There we go. All right. A little, a little cold weather jerk bait fish. Yeah. Good call there. Switch to that I'm a, all these fish are like the same size, but fat. They've been feeding up. Woo! Jerk bait's really good. Roaming fish, suspending fish. All you gotta do is just reel down a few times and then give it some twitches. Oh man, this gust has to hit us right now on this. Dang it, dude. Got one. Got one again? Yeah. Oh, it's a little better. On the old jerk bait, huh? Yeah. I think he actually had it like as soon as it got in the water, but he's swimming towards me. Oh, hey, baby. He's right on, right on the tree. Oh, he's, he's got it. Oh, it's a little better. Good thing about a jerk bait, there's lots of hooks. Unfortunately, they can also go in your fingers. Grab their faces gently. Treat them nicely. There we go, second fish on the little Ima. Good little fish here. And looks like we got some that are coming up to look at a jerk bait. Some are on the bottom. I can't really figure out where these fish are wanting to sit. There's another, there's another school of them. Another school bait? Yeah. Oh, I got one. I got another one. Yep. They're, they're definitely feeding on these minnows, man. They're feeding on the minnows. Okay, so yep. flip and bite is a no-go. Dude, what is going on here? Get out of my way. Little guy there. There's these little schools of minnows that keep coming through, and this little jerk bait is like the perfect size for targeting them. They're, they seem to be pushed back here. A little fall, a little fall pattern, and even though this jerk bait only goes a couple of feet down, it's they're coming up and they're grabbing it, even though we're in you know 10 feet of water or so. Here, there we go. Oh, did you see all those minnows, dude. It's like that something was attacking them. A wind will affect a cast or two. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, he's chasing it. Oh, I, oh, I'm stuck on a tree. Uh, Rob just, he's behind, he's directly behind me. He's throwing a topwater and he just had a bite. This is, you don't really see flannel in topwaters too often. Oh, got him. Nope, that's a tree. It's a tree pounder. They feel the same sometimes. Just turned myself around here and gave a little jerk and Got another bass back here on the jerk bait. Oh, here we go, baby. Throwing this on 12 pound, y'all. He absolutely slurped that thing. That's how you want to see it right there. Well, this little jerk bait's doing well. I, Rob just got a bite on a top water and it was a better fish. So that's that's pretty awesome. But same concept with, uh, and here's fish right here. You see you guys, you're like back here in this little pocket with the wind blowing in it. Jerk bait and top water, just kind of mimicking these little minnow schools that are flowing through here and fish are suspended on these trees. Some of them, some of them are on the bottom. We started off catching fish on the bottom, but 
Seems like a lot of them just want to chase. And there's another fish. I got him. I got him. Another one back here. Oh, there we go, baby. Oh, that's a better fish. Oh, come here. Get out of those trees. Get out of those trees. Oh, man. What do we got going on here? It's a better one, yeah. It's probably a three-pounder. Let him dig a little bit. That line, he's barely got it. Oh, baby. Here we go. They are definitely back here in these, these trees. Oh, this is one of them scary landers. I may not get him. Oh, come here. You got that treble hook up in there. Here we go. And if I wasn't wearing gloves, I would have went into my hand. Okay. Get it out of this fish first, because he's angry. There we go. Nice, solid three, three and a half. Beautiful. Chasing the minners, man. All right, let you go, man. See ya. Another fat, fat, fat one there. Jerk bait's just killing it, guys. Definitely want to have the right rod. I've got a uh, got a seven footer here. That's a medium. It's got a, just a soft tip, so I can lightly work it. Gives a little bit with the fish. Mm. Oh boy. Oh 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 God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. Oh yeah. Right on that point. Oh yeah. He's on a tree currently, but I do have him. There he comes. How big was he? Oh he's he's standard. He's a standard unit. Look at that. Yeah. Oh he come off. Oh my gosh, it's loaded. It's, this oh. is this is the this is the moving bait bank here. Oh, yeah. Woo! Now the wind has picked up for sure. Basically just fishing a windy bank, hoping for the best. Okay, it's up. Here I come. Well, today turned out to be one of the windier days of the century. Made it very difficult for fishing, and we also had a little time constraint. Lunkers was out playing poker, and he was in a big poker tournament with hundreds of people and didn't get home till late in the wee hours. So we got to the boat ramp a little bit late, but we still managed to catch some fish and some quality fatties. And it turns out that the October MTB box was a winner for these conditions. And I actually got in there and I read the dibble. I don't often read the dibble, but I, I just opened it up and I read it. There's a little tip out of here. Nope, that's on drop shots. I don't need to be reading about drop shots. Pro tips for fishing wind. So this is one of the cool things about MTB. They actually uh, they include this information in there and there's little funny things and everything like that. But this is what this says. For many anglers, windy conditions are both a blessing and a curse. Wind action concentrates plankton, which attracts bait fish and in turn bass meaning that windblown areas can be really reliable patterns across the country. As great as wind can be for the bite, it can be equally bad for anglers. That was very much true today. There was actually a guy that came into the pocket that we were fishing that was very windblown, and he got blown all the way back there where we were, and he was super frustrated. He got caught on a trot line, and then his next cast, he uh, was hitting trees, and then he backlashed, and then he pretty much had a blowout, and uh, he left the water. What the dibble says is absolutely true and what we were seeing in the back of this pocket today all these, these bait balls were being pushed back there and these bass were behaving like fall bass do and they were actually schooling a little bit out in the middle we did see some fish schooling but also just hanging around cover suspending and busting those shad little balls of shad if you think about fishing trees you can fish the bottom of the texas rig but this allows you to throw it next to a piece of cover twitch it and then allows the bass to come up have time to grab it and then you can pull them away from the cover a little bit so i was fishing it on a 12 pound uh, fluoro today and i was fishing a seven foot medium action rod and just twitch 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 
So that was a killer today for the bass and it ended up racking me up probably a dozen fish. It was really good. And then one fish that was over three pounds, probably about four pounds. And the rest of the stuff that was in this box was equally as good. Honestly, if I'm slamming fish on one bait, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take it off. Don't break what's, what's working for you. The shad, mystery tackle box exclusive. This is the shad 80. I mean, that literally looks like a shad. That would have been perfect. Oh, hey, here's another square bill. Quality, Lucky Craft, boom, right there. And I caught one on a, on a, a KVD 1.5 as well, another square bill that came out of the box. There's the Ima right there. You got a Biospawn Vilecrawl, which is, a, this is a pearl color. So this would have been awesome too, to flip in the trees with a lighter weight. You know, it's windy and kind of slowly sink down. And I guarantee you they would have blasted that as well. But sometimes when it's real windy, you got to fish the lures that you can effectively cast. And that's what was going on. Even though we were still getting in trees and things like that, this jerkbait had just enough weight. It's got a weight transfer system in it. That's really nice. It suspends. I was able to get it out there. And a good thing about a jerkbait is you throw it out there, you twitch it. They're pretty much just going to grab it. You don't have to be really feeling for a bite like you do with a Texas rig or a jig. Uh, they're just going to get on there. So it makes it even better when it's really windy. So jerkbait, uh, crankbaits, spinnerbaits, all very, very, very good windy condition baits. And that's what killed the game today. I shouldn't say kill the game. It was more like saved the game because we really only got a couple hours of fishing time in and it was blowing so hard out of the north. It was just unbearable. Oh, hey, y'all scared me. She's been watching you. You've been watching me? How long have you been watching me? <laughs> Maybe like five minutes. Oh, really? Well, how am I doing? Oh, you're doing good. You got a little bobblehead up there? Yeah, she just likes to watch you. Oh, she looks so cute with her little pink ass. All right, y'all, I'm gonna leave, let you go right here. Hey, if you wanna follow the Lake Life. Yes. Lake Life family uh, channel oh. right here, all of us together. I'm sorry. She's sweetie. not so sure about that. I'm sorry, sweetie. So go, go subscribe to the Lake Life channel. You can see me all the time. Me. She doesn't like my cold hands a bit out on the briskness oh. all day on the water. Mommy's okay. nice and warm. We'll give you back to mommy. I hate when people touch you with cold hands. You know, who, do, who, do, who does like that? That's terrible. If you want to subscribe right here, you guys know what to do. Hit the ding-dongs for all the notifications. Go tell them. Say subscribe. Yeah, you grab my hair. You yeah, tell them. You rip mommy's ah. hair out. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here, and God bless you. Hope you're having a great day in the outdoors. And I'll see you right back here next time.